Morning. Morning. Where are we going today? Skeknish. Hi guys, so uh, today Ju and Jamie have been out most of the day and we've only got a few days left before we leave um, this site. We've been here a few weeks now. Yeah, I was on nights last night working uh, for Lays, driving for the House of the Dragon. Um, so I was driving some of the trucks, moving some of the technical uh, equipment about from one location to another. Yeah, I didn't get back until three this morning, but uh, got up around 10. Yeah, just been pottering about most of the day, sorting out sort of what we're going to be leaving at the um, storage unit and what we're actually taking with us uh, as we're going to Skegness at the weekend. So Drew and Jamie have just left. Uh, Jamie's got tape today at Colwyn Bay, so it's about a 40 minute drive down the A55. So they've headed out for the day. Julie stays that end and meets up with a friend. And uh, yes, yeah, she's took the laundry as well today, so including all the bedding. So I have now got the bedding to put new bedding on. Uh, Jamie's bed there, and then just basically generally have a good old clean up, tidy up, and whatever after breakfast. It's only a couple of days until we head to Skegness, so I plan on doing the outside of the van today, give that a good wash because it's not been washed since we moved on site here, getting a little bit dusty, been out a couple of times in the van and it's uh, getting a little bit grubby on the outside, so, um, and there's also green starting to sort of appear on the skylights as well, so I'll give the booth a bit of a wash down, so, busy day. Well, it's um, Thursday, Wash day, Richard did the washing last week, washing and drying, he did a good job. I mean, Roos on sea um, laundrette. And yeah, I normally go to Mrs. Robinson's. I've been here a couple of times too. It's a bit cheaper here, by 50p for the um, washing machines. Two loads. It's been quite busy this morning, but now look, our washing's going around. Well, drying now. We've done the wash. Can't believe how fast they are, really. Um, I think it was only 23 minutes to wash. Uh, and then it's around six minutes for a pound. Um, but they'll do dry quite fast. So it'll probably cost me three pounds for each wash, something like that. Just after I stopped filming, um, a man came in looking at the machines. Never been in a um, laundrette before, so I took him through the machines like you do, etc. He's from, he's lived in Kansas, America, and he told me it didn't rain there for about three years. Um, he, when he was younger, he used to live near Bala, which is Wales, and. Um, so for their anniversary and as a treat, he brought her over to North Wales and took her to Prestatton on a holiday and she loved it. So they decided when they retired, they're going to come to Prestatton. So they've lived there for a little while, um, renting that I um, could gather. And he's now took the landlord to court because of the charges of the rent. And um, yeah, there's been a court battle going on and um, his wife's been ill, Covid has made them a little bit more secluded and they're just getting out on, about to places now they've moved to Roos. And it just makes you think about other people and what they're going through or 
what's on their mind or how they're feeling. You know, everyone has bad days. God, I have bad days. Uh, and I'm ratty. I can, I can be really ratty. Um, so yeah, we just, we just don't know what's happening in people's lives and things like Facebook or, you know, although I like Facebook and I like to see what people are doing, what's going on. And, you know, it's nice to keep in touch. I think less and less people are doing that. Uh, they're keeping themselves private, you know, um, and that's lovely and that's great. And I would say I'm a private person. But yeah, it's also nice to show people what there is out there, what they can do. Um, you're not gloating about having a good time or a nice time or anything like that because, as I say, we've all got our own stuff to deal with as well that's not so good and not so glamorous. We haven't got, all got a perfect life and, you know, we, we have to accept that we've all got stuff going on and we're all going to have good days, we're all going to have bad days. And that's life. That, that, that is just life. So, yeah, so it's interesting talking to him. Um, it's also made me realise that I do like people. I like you. Um, and, yeah, it's taught me back to when I was cleaning people's houses and just offices, you know, just office cleaning. Now, I've got to say, all of my um, clients were lovely. All lovely, all kind. Um nice you know i got cups of tea and you know it was it was lovely but it's hard work but it did make me go in myself a little bit and keep in the background you know not talk to people just get on with the job and i've realized that i can and i do chat to anybody example is well it's a few weeks ago now i was in dunelm and I was wanting a dinner set and a young lady was looking at the dinner set as well and she couldn't reach it, she was smaller than I was and I reached the dinner set for her and I said I'm going to have it in blue, she had it in green. We got chatting and Beth and Alex have owned a motorhome, still got one and they've been all over Europe, haven't met Alex yet but Beth's lovely and we've been out for coffee twice since you know so yeah, just that talking to her about reaching something off a shelf. Yeah, it's great. Get to know as many people as you can. Talk to as many people as you can. You never know who you're going to meet. Paul Gardner or recommended. Did you buy me a book? I think you did. The five, is it five people who you meet in heaven? Lovely little book. Just, just a lovely book. Made me cry. Just a nice book. And yeah, you don't know who you're going to meet. Some marvellous people out there. So, my favourite job, not. sheets on our bed still got James to do yet well at least this only happens once every six months <laughs> no it doesn't <laughs> it's not even funny is it okay put you back down there once every couple of weeks oh. I'll try to be funny Right, so good. By a Get this turned back into a lounge. So yeah, this is what we have to do every morning and night. Even though it maybe looks a bit of a faff. Uh, but what it does do is only literally takes five minutes now. Um, first time, the first couple of times we did it, it was quite, it took quite a while to do it, but uh, we seem to have got quite efficient at it now. And, and uh, yeah, basically, initially when we we're looking at vans, we were looking at a fixed bed in the back because we just thought, yeah, we want the bedroom, we don't want to mess about making a bed up every day. And then we realised that that was wasted space in the day that we could use. 
apologise. Because nobody sits in their bedroom in the day, do they? So. So then we decided we start looking at these U-shaped lounges. We thought, yeah. And then I did see one or two comments online about, you know, how much of a faff it is. And well, yeah, it is. But you just get used to it. It's just a daily, like cleaning your teeth at the end of the day. And it takes five minutes. That's all. As you can see there, what we've done is we've got a mattress topper, so we've got the sheet over the top, so we haven't got to worry about putting the sheet all around the cushions, and it also protects the cushions so that we're not sleeping directly on these. So yeah, qu uh, quilt and pillars go in this side, and then I've already put that away now, but that's where the that's where the uh, mattress topper goes. From bedroom back to lounge. Now onto Jamie's bed. Right, that's Jamie's bed made and uh, I've just polished uh, so I'm going to get the hoover out now. Okie dokie, so that's the hoovering done and I thought I'll take the opportunity while I'm inside just to grab some lunch and then I was just getting everything set up outside ready to um, ready to wash the van let me come out here and then it started to rain but it's actually stopped again so i'm going to get up on the roof i've got the hose pipe set up and uh, we'll get up there and we'll get the roof a wash the roof done right so the valley is now clean giving it a bit of a buff up done the windows so it's been done on the inside and outside it took me about 20 25 minutes to get that strapped down and on properly um, but it's worth just spending the time making sure that it is on tight. We don't want it falling off on the on the motorway. It's now half past six. Been at it most of the day. That's it. I'm going to um, I'm going to get some tea. What else to tell you? So yeah, day on my own really. So yeah, after tape, he was going. They were they were go, he was going to meet his friend Carl. Uh, Carl's also Down syndrome, and uh, Natasha, his mum, and Sophia, Carl's sister. So Julie and Jamie were going to go out and have uh, tea with them. So left me home alone. But hey oh, I like pottering about, so that's all good. That's it for today, I think. I'm going to grab myself some tea now. I'm going to get the oven on and see what I've got in there. Probably have a piece of fish with some salad or something like that. I'm trying to eat a bit healthier. I think I've lost a bit, but um, this last week I've been on a lot of smoothies. We've got a um, we've got a Vitamix, heck of a blender. It blends almost anything. In fact, I think I've blended the nut out of a avocado before. Yeah. So, but yeah. Anyway, so I've been on these smoothies, trying to lose a bit of weight, and um, so I'm going to have a, a nice healthy tea. So nice and quiet and peaceful at the moment until the two terrors get back. Um, I was planning on getting my bike cleaned as well today, but uh, that hasn't happened <sighs> enough of me rambling that's it I'm gonna get some tea morning I don't think I don't think you need a close-up like that it's not doesn't look that close actually on the GoPro oh, get close to that that's them. close <laughs> <laughs> why do you look so happy I'm always happy <laughs> remember that <laughs> Morning. Morning. Where are we going today? Scare clash. <laughs> are you happy about that? I am indeed. I'm happy to be seeing family, of course. Not happy to be leaving here. We've got to get ourselves packed up, ready for moving, haven't we? Yeah. So it's no good laying about in, the, in, your, in your stinky pit. Right, I'm going to pack the awning up and get things that we don't need down to the unit. We've got a wasp. Hello, Mr. Wasp. So, it's an inflatable awning, so we'll just need to 
lay out the plugs and down it comes. As easy as that. Do you know what? I'm so uh, glad that it's uh, dry. Even the bottom's dry, so I'm not putting it away damp. I hate putting tents and awnings and stuff away damp. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased about that. Oh, it's the little things in life. Dad. Yep, we're going to the park. Oh, I forgot it's market day. Oh, yes, market day. In Marwood. Right. Um, whether we get round that way, can't come. We've got to go that way. Oh, damn it. Never mind. And a market day in Mould. There we are. Yes, that's a market in Mould today. So it's on sat every Saturday and on every Wednesday. And what do you use to get from the market? From the market I always get cheese from Nick. <laughs> yes. Cheese. Like flipping grommet, aren't you? No, what's his name? The other one. Wallace. Wallace. Cheese, I've put all my pe bits and pieces behind the cushions, um, wedged things into the shelves so nothing moves when we're travelling, cleared the worktop um, and the table is near on clear and now I'm waiting for um, the boys to come back. Right. This is the fourth time I'm filming this because I keep I'm waffling on so I'm going to cut it really short. So it's been eight weeks since we've moved out the house and moved into the motorhome and I've got to say it's been, it's been great. It's been really good. We've enjoyed it and um, we seem to have got on pretty well. We seem to know what each other's doing, you know, the routine in the van, let's say, because basically that's that's all stayed the same. The only thing that's changed was moving from a house into a motorhome and we were about 10 minutes away from where we did live. So yeah, that's the only thing that's changed. So yeah, van life is going well. It seems to be suited so far, but the weather has been just amazing. I think we've had over three weeks of pure sunshine here. It's turned a little bit now, as in the days are different now, but it, it's been it's been lovely. So good. Pretty sad leaving here, really, because Jamie's finished all his groups now and um, they've been fantastic. I can't thank them enough for their help, support, listening to Jamie. Ju just somewhere to go where you know other people are in a similar situation as you are or you're not... I'm not saying you're judged everywhere. All, all I'm saying is that, that, you know, they're just open. And Jamie's had some great experiences. He's done some performances in, you know, dancing, expressing himself. And also uh, he's done uh, his first gig with a band. And yeah, he loved it. It was amazing to see him and everybody else just enjoy themselves. We've met some lovely friends here, who I can say will always be friends. I'm waiting for the boys to come back. They've gone to the lockup to put some things in the lockup and then they'll be back and we're going for breakfast. And then we're en route to Skeg Vegas. So I'm coming for you, family and friends. 
and I'm looking forward to a hug. That's the most important thing for me. Yeah, a good hug. <laughs> So that's it, we're all packed up and ready to travel to Skegness. So yeah, there's Ju in the car there. That's Julie, one of the site owners. And uh, yeah, they've got a busy site today. So, right, um, can't hold the phone and drive at the same time. So uh, we'll catch you up at some point along the journey. It's not healthy, is it? It's better than a sub long sandwich or a, um, I don't know what's better, is a sausage roll better or the chips better? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Well, Greg's has got a lot to answer for. After all that, having a pop at you about your chips, what did I have? Hey? Vegan sausage roll. Yes, I did. I had a vegan sausage roll. So, oops, minor steps. Right. Yep. Anyway, our journey continues. Yeah. What's that? Let me just put that there for a second because I'm going to check the straps on the bike. See what Samps is doing. Still asleep, but. So we sedated Samson earlier. Well, we didn't, we just gave him the calms, but um, yeah, he's, uh, he's doing well. He's been asleep most of the trip so far. However, these two have just gone in there, gone, oh, Sam, Sam, Sam. And now he's all, look, yeah, now he's woke you're just, up. Uh, you're just jealous because we don't make apples over. <laughs> 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 we just go, you're all right, yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> Bloody charming. Right, I'm gonna check the straps on there to make sure they're still tight. If you want to for a bit, yeah. All right. Kiss. Bye. Not kissing the camera. <laughs> See you in a bit. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Oh, go on. Bye. to Skegness and we've just got ourselves parked on my mother's drive and um, all went smoothly. Mr Sampson here travelled well didn't you mate? Hey, eh? I think we knocked you out with that calm didn't we? Uh, but it's only a couple of little meals just about half an hour from, from getting here so yeah all went smoothly. So we're about set up, I think. Everything's back out as it was. It's all a bit strange at the minute, trying to figure this out, but we've literally moved to the other side of the country, yet we've still got our home and everything as it was. But <laughs> I suppose we'll get used to that. What is it? <laughs> Just a different view now. <laughs> so, anyway. Is that it? Is there anything else? We're done. I think that's it. So we got here, Jim Bob. Yeah. Didn't we? Nice. Got his hungry? Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, I'll show you none. And walk around the place around the van in a minute, shall we? Yeah. Give him a tour of the van. Yeah. Oh, it's that long bit. Samson's clearly got himself settled down already, which is good. Yeah. Honestly. 
You're the one all security wise. Well done, Sam. I'm still talking, yes. There's the keys. I'm filming. Are you filming? Oh. Are you, do you want to be on YouTube? I'd love to be. Hi. <laughs> do you want to be? <laughs> do you want, do you want, <laughs> this is Grace and Eva. Okay. This is my brother Dan. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Your mother. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're all having a. Oh yes. Well, we know who you are. Right. We're going to have a look around there. They're going to have a tour. Is this van. going on the? Yes. On the whatnot. On the, oh, yes. On the. Me, you and Dan too. On, on, no, the, me, on, you on and Tinternet. Oh, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dorman. Yeah. <laughs> we shall all be buying How many people can we get in a motorhome? <laughs> After you, Dan. <laughs> we should get some more neighbours in here. <laughs> You've got my Crocs on, man. Look at Elvis on the roof. Keep moving in, people. Keep moving in. Keep the sight seeing the crown jewels. Keep the line moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's wow. Wow. Can you fit in a van? Lovely. And then we've all got a cupboard each. Okay. okay. Well, oh. Oh. oh, Nintendo. No, not that. Not that. Oh. <laughs> What are you doing? You're wrecking the place. Hey, I've, I've sort, I've, yeah, I've, that's because I've sorted that cupboard out. That's this cupboard. is the thing. When you move, you have to open all the cupboards to sort them all out to put yeah, them back again. Right. So I'll sort that cupboard out in a minute. Very nice. Very nice. Isn't it? I like this. That's nice. Yeah. That's a I've, nice little touch. Did like you that. pay for this? I paid for She paid it. for this. She said you? she was going to this. That. So have you had to move all this then? No, yeah, all this got packed, we put all it away, you know, when we move, when we drive in and then put it all out again. Very nice. So I took the window off. Is it really? Is that stickers? And I've, I've, um, oh, that, that's what you said you were doing. I painted the window. That's amazing, that's stickers. Oh. You feel that? You feel that? It's all switchy. Oh. Looks good, doesn't it? That looks really good. I love that. It's really good. Come on, Sam. And then I took the window off. It's nice, isn't it? It's all right, eh? I sprayed the window. Yeah, bang on. What do you think, girls? It's really cool. It's very cool. Like it. So, have we shown them around, have we, Jim Bob? Last time we saw you, you had a different one. We did. Yeah, we had a we had a VW Crafter, which is a bit smaller than this, wasn't it? So, and we've sold that and we bought this. But it's a bit bigger to live in. Yeah, this is lovely. This I've done another wall down then. I've done the bathroom, kind of. I ain't quite finished. Yeah, go have a look at the lounge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at the lounge. Yeah. Look at the lounge. Look at this. Look at this. There's fridge. Oh, I'll better put that on to um, yeah. plug it in in a bit. Is there, isn't it, girls and boys? Yeah, you like it, Jim. Turn that off. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, it'll yeah. 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 wreck the battery. Yeah. You don't use that front yeah. end at all, I suppose. You don't really. Oh, and you need Julie's paper this thing. Paper, paper that corner. Oh, and that corner. And paper this. It's more modern, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then, yeah, we've got a new, we've got a new telly, and the other, the other telly was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. You nearly fall out, Dan. <laughs> I should have had that on film. <laughs> I didn't quite get the camera out. Do that again, Dan. <laughs> Fake it. <laughs> um, yeah, so what, well, it doesn't get up in the night. How many miles has it done? 36 and a half thousand. That's all. Yeah. Was it good yeah. before? So, Where did yeah. you buy it privately from a dealer? Private. Obviously a bed yeah. that just pulls out from under there. Yeah. Thanks again for watching. Uh, we do appreciate it. Um, we are trying to build this channel. To, um, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell icon. That'll tell you when our next video is up. You can subscribe for free. So just thought I'd say that because I have heard on other people's channels that their people have been doubtful about subscribing and stuff because they thought they had to pay I don't know <sighs> anyway there we go that's it enough rambling yes if you're liking them please subscribe click the bell icon and we'll catch you in the next one